we have actually had several viewers who have contacted us about rising rates for the month of December. So we wanted to know tonight what's causing it. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams joins us from Touchscreen 13 with what she found out today. Lamore. Hey there, Adrian and Sam. Yeah, we posted this question on our Facebook page earlier. Have you seen your PG&E bills spike recently? And look at this. We received hundreds of comments. Here's one of them. Let's go to this one. Two months in a row and almost a $300 bills. I'm, I'm gone 10 hours and I know my dogs won't turn on the heat. Yeah, this one. Two months ago, it was $34. Last month, $98. Some significant spikes. Some people think it's the colder weather, but we found out otherwise. Take a look. Only 65 degrees. Angeline Rothwell makes sure to only run the heater for a few hours a night to break the chill and avoid burning her bottom line. Yeah, yeah, see? But in the last three months, her bill has left her with sticker shock. I'm like, what? Her bill jumped from $20 to $90 a month for the first time in the 12 years she's lived here in Folsom, a 350% increase. I'm scared, you know, one of these days I'm coming home that they cut off my because I didn't pay yet. We have heard a lot of complaints from consumers. Mindy Spat of the utility watchdog group Turn says advocates are hearing from more and more Sacramento area users with skyrocketing bills and colder weather isn't the only culprit. You've got the sort of real a storm almost of the combination of higher rates winter baseline in effect and cold weather. PG&E tells CBS 13 rates went up last summer an average of seven dollars per month but that's not enough to triple someone's bill. A spokesman sent us a statement reading in part while average residential customers bills are still well below the national average we want our customers to know that we are here to help them make smart energy choices and manage their costs. PG&E apparently isn't doing enough to help customers this winter. PG&E says it can perform energy audits of any user's home to trace the source of their high bills. SPAD encourages concerned consumers to call a utility advocate at the Utility Reform Network for help analyzing their bills, comparing overall usage from year to year. That, oh my God. Angeline says she'll just suck up this bill and maybe turn off the heater altogether to see if that makes a difference. Now, Turn also tells us consumers who feel like they're being overcharged can file a complaint with their utility or with the PUC. That's the Public Utilities Commission. Now, if you have any more comments or questions, chime in on our Facebook page. We're monitoring this conversation, and we will have a follow-up story for you tonight at 10 o'clock. Boy, Lamar, a triple. I mean, these bills are sky. There's something going on here. There's something going There's on. There's something big time going We're on. We're still trying to get some answers from yeah. the we'll So no, many complaints. Them. Yeah, I mean, the PUC or somebody's going to have to get in and start investigating. That's this. right. That's unbelievable. Okay. Okay, right. good piece tonight. Thanks very Thank much you. for that.